Bro, can someone please tell me what the heck I just read? Hello everyone and welcome to another reading vlog. It's been a hot minute since we did just a regular reading vlog. I feel like the last one was like the travel one when we went to New Orleans and did all that stuff. And then the time before that, it was a cozy hobby vlog and we did a lot of stuff as well in that video. So this is gonna be the first, just only a reading vlog in a hot minute. So I'm super excited. In my Kindle Unlimited TBR video, I was sharing with you guys all of the books on my Kindle TBR and I asked you what I should read and I got a comment saying I should read Credence and so we're here we're gonna be reading Credence I don't really know much about it besides what's on the back of the book so we're gonna read the little synopsis on my Kindle and then go from there so it says Tiernan de Haas doesn't care about anything anymore the only child of a film producer and his starlet wife she's grown up with wealth and privilege but not love or guidance shipped off to boarding school from an early age it was still impossible to escape the loneliness and carve out a life of her own the shadow of her parents fame follow her everywhere and when they suddenly pass away she knows she should be devastated but has anything really changed she's always been alone hasn't she jake van berg wait jake vanderberg her father's stepbrother and her only living relatives assumes guardianship of turnin who is still two months shy of 18. sent to live with him and his two sons noah and caleb in the mountains of colorado turnin soon learns that these men now have a say in what she chooses to care and not care about anymore as the three of them take her under their wing teach her to work and survive in the remote woods far away from the rest of the world she slowly finds her place among them and as part of them she also realizes that lines blur and rules become easy to break when no one else is watching one of them has her the other one wants her but he he's going to keep her so as we can see there's gonna be a lot of weird stuff going on in this book her dad's stepfather assumes guardianship of her as you can see one of them has her one wants her and the other is gonna keep her so i'm assuming that this dad this stepdad is in this relationship thing i have no idea we're gonna read it and we're gonna find out um, i'm kind of scared not gonna lie i feel like it's gonna be really weird i've only read a few reviews about it and it seems like some people hate it some people love it we're gonna go through this journey together and i'm super excited to see what my thoughts are on this what the heck this is gonna be i feel like i'm gonna be a little bit scarred but it's okay because i'm ready to take on the challenge if you are so this is gonna be structured just like all of our reading vlogs we're gonna read it we're gonna have a spoiler for your review and then at the end at the end girl we're gonna be talking about all about the spoilers and really get into it yeah so super excited let's start reading and see see where this book takes us hello i'm back so i gotta be honest i did not pick up this book in over a week like 10 days i read i think like 20 30 pages before i was kind of like dang what am i actually reading like i'm the type of reader where i love a good drama i like a good story i want to know all the tea but I don't know I guess when I was reading the back of the book I was just seeing like drama 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 but I didn't actually think like wait a minute is this is this okay like this doesn't seem okay I literally played myself because all I saw was just flags screaming drama and didn't think for a second do I even want to read a book like this like yes there's a lot of drama but she's 17 guys he's 17 like that literally just went over my head and she's in a house with three guys who's her step uncle and step cousin and they're about to get snowed in for the winter ah <sighs> yeah so not gonna lie after that day i was like this close to being like okay let i'm i can't do this vlog like i it just felt weird but then i was like okay i started it i gotta finish it and i remember in one of my somewhat recent videos i was asking you guys what kind of videos i should do a reading vlog for and i got this comment and it said that they want to see credence so honestly i'm doing this for you girl i kind of didn't want to continue this video but i'm gonna stick to it we're reading all types of books on this channel so you just gotta have to power through so let me give you a quick synopsis of what had happened so far we learned on the very first page that tiernan i think that's how you say her name i don't know her parents unalive themselves because her dad gets diagnosed with cancer and treatment's not working and her parents don't want to live without each other and so they left her growing up they never really cared about her all they cared about was each other honestly so it wasn't even something that surprising i guess and so she goes to live with her dad's stepbrother 
that they haven't talked to in years and she hasn't even met the guy and right off the bat the main character she's not likable like i just really got annoyed with her i have no reason to be rooting for her the step uncle his name is jake he has beef with her dad and he kept making comments like oh you don't talk much and kind of just like teasing her a lot and i'm like her parents just died like why are you making jokes why are you picking on her and like acting like she's supposed to be like the most happy cheerful person right now when she's literally orphan like an orphan like it's just weird they live in the middle of nowhere like in a mountain on a farm and she's like learning the ropes right now and we meet the two sons caleb and noah caleb is meeting well when you meet caleb it was a interesting situation i'm not even going to talk about but he he doesn't speak he's mute because something happened in his childhood when he was four years old that he just stopped talking we don't know what that is yet and noah he's a very like jokester funny guy and chill and our main girl likes them all so yeah I'm like on page 180, 190 right now. There's like almost 600, oh no, almost 500 pages. So I'm going to try my best to just read it these next two days because I really need to get this up soon because I'm a little bit behind. I thought I wasn't going to continue this. So we're going to keep reading. Hopefully we can finish it today or tomorrow and then give a review. Right now, I'm not a fan of really anybody. Gotta be honest. Do you like, do you like my microphone? I think this is fun. Anyways, let me um, continue reading and I will talk to you whenever something happens. something percent done i have like 130 40 pages left oh my god that balloon looks like someone was there anyways i have quite a bit more to read if i'm being honest guys i've been struggling like i'm making lots of progress but this is like rough so far i don't even know what to say like this book is just spice like i can't tell you anything like definitely my fault miscalculation on my part probably should have done a little bit more research and not just get excited based on the drama i was reading but i really need some more plot going on guys there's just nothing but spice and if you're into that you're into that this is just too much and like i feel like a good book for me and i know that this is probably just meant for spice right like some people just only write books for the spice but i need some plot guys and i'm struggling right now to find it and i'm losing my mind but hey at least at this point of the book she turned 18 so i guess it's a free-for-all and it's making me uncomfortable not gonna lie but i will say it's reminding me a lot of some books i read earlier this year the first one being the never king series i don't know if that's what it's called but i think the first book was called the never king or something the other book is birthday girl and both of these books revolve around girls just becoming of age and either an older person catches her eye and they're like doing things or some polyamorous stuff going on and they're doing some things and i gave both of those books the rating they deserved i didn't really enjoy them and with this book it definitely feels wrong and i'm not even thinking only age gap related but also just the fact that our main girl she had terrible parents they didn't care about her they didn't give her any attention so all of a sudden once they died she's in a house with three attractive men who are giving her all this attention and she's really clean on to it and she's just like keeps saying like oh i had guys show me attention in the past but i didn't jump on it like i'm not desperate da, da, da. but it's like okay cool you're not desperate like you could have gotten any guy but you didn't but it's the fact that it's giving grooming like they show her a loving comforting home and then just take advantage of her inappropriately and even though she's consenting and willing for it it just rubs me the wrong way and i'm just not excited to read this book it just is weird and like she has these conversations in her head and with the men around her that she's okay with this and she's not desperate and she's only 17 on paper like girl you are not 17 on paper you're 17 in flesh and blood like 
age is not just a number i'm sorry like if everybody is a certain age right like right now the oldest guy we don't know for sure but he's old enough to have like 21 22 year old son so she said probably early 40s i don't know like that's weird you're supposed to be her guardian and you're guarding something else I can't be here for it. Like, it's just very weird. You know, if there's an age gap that big with someone like 40, 60, I don't care, do you. Age is just a number at that point, I guess. But like, her being this young, and then we're gonna act like, oh, I'm only 17 on paper, or I'm 18 now, and I know everything. It's just, it's just weird, and I'm not rooting for anybody, and all three of these guys are getting a slice. I feel like this is gonna be my last update until the review, just because I honestly can't tell you anything else about this book, because it's just so heavily focused on spice and all I know all you know is that her parents die which we find out in the beginning of the book and they're spice I feel like I can't even spoil the book if I wanted to I don't even know if I'll have a spoiler section because what is there to spoil everything is there it's in the back of the book I feel like at this point the only thing that I'm curious about is the oldest son he's mute and he's been mute since he was four years old and I'm just waiting to find out why I'm assuming it's some traumatic situation that happened probably about their mother that we get a little bit of information about but that's about it it says that like she can only end up with one guy i don't even know at this point if she'll actually end up only with one but if she does i feel like i know who it's not gonna be i'm going to end the little reading portion here because girl what the heck so i'll just catch you in a couple days and we can wrap this up because i have nothing really to add so yeah this is a very interesting vlog that's all i could say so we're done with the book and that was a crazy experience if i'm being honest and also i just gotta say i got a new camera so the quality is doing so well and i just can't get over it i feel like a youtuber but anyway we'll talk more about the camera at a different time but back to the book this is going to be the spoiler free review and then at the end we'll talk about spoilers pretty much the girl tiernan she comes to a small town when lives with her step uncle and step cousins after her parents die she grows close with each of them and relationships form in different ways between all of them we kind of follow that story and all also, because it's a small town, there's not very many people coming in and out of the town. So she's kind of like a hot topic in the town and all the guys want her. And so her uncle and cousins are very protective of her. But you know why. Honestly, other than that, there was no real plot besides just the spice that came out of it. She does end up picking one of the guys. If you stay tuned to the spoilers, we're going to go all into that, which is ridiculous i don't feel like she had much of a personality she was just bitter and miserable in the beginning like she suppressed any good thing ever in the middle she was very emotional cried all the time happy and sad tears but then in the beginning she showed no emotion and then at the end she kind of just seemed stupid I felt like the writing wasn't bad. I didn't feel like the author really wrote anything where I was like, oh, why'd you say it like that? It was just very like fine writing, but the content of the writing wasn't good. Something that I had a huge problem with this book is that Tiernan comes in to the house very like broken and sad and depressed and all that stuff. She never had love in her parents' home. But then when she comes to this house with men she starts to feel that love that family bonding and all that and opens up and whatever whatever but the thing that irks me about her is that there was this lady named Mirai and she was like her mom's assistant slash kind of her nanny at the same time like she was the person who bought her birthday gifts Christmas gifts and always said it was from her parents and Tierna knew it was from Mirai but she still just treated Mirai like crap like anytime Mirai would call her tell her stuff she would hang up on the phone with her and I just wouldn't understand that like she showed more love to these three men than she ever had with Mariah who's there like all her life and it just irked me because like she's acting like oh I've never had a like love like this or whatever whatever no you just never had it from hot men before so now you're gonna act brand new and treat them with kindness but not Mariah so that irked me and I felt like she just wasn't a good person at all she also did a lot of like, oh, I'm gonna go back to California. Will I stay? Will I not? And like, there was a lot of that which kind of reminded me of Birthday Girl because she also did a lot of back and forth about whether she's gonna go home or not. And that kind of just annoys me. I'm kind of like, okay, let's think of something new because I really don't care if you stay or go. I think you should leave. 
I don't feel like there was really any romance in this story. It just felt like there was nothing but lust. And I felt like the way the author like made it seem like it was love was just abusive and wrong because these men just kind of took advantage of her in a vulnerable state. And there's this quote that I want to share because there's a lot of quotes actually that I was like, what the heck? So the first one was, I may only be 17, but that's only on paper. We already discussed that, but that's weird. Like you're no one's 17 on paper. You're literally 7P, period. Okay, so the guys, they always had different women coming in and out of the house until winter came and the roads were snowed in. And so Tiernan would get like petty sometimes and like sometimes have these weird thoughts, right? So like one of these quotes she said was like, the guys have their fun, why shouldn't I? Referring to like getting herself in a bad situation with this other dude. And I'm like, that just shows how 17 you are. Because you're being petty like this. Oh, the guys have their fun, so let me just do something I know I shouldn't do. I also felt like Jake, he had like weird intrusive thoughts as well. He really hated Ternan's dad, so his stepbrother, and that's fine, but I felt like it was like weird. Like he just couldn't understand why she would be quiet when you're grieving. Like she's not gonna be in a joking mood. She's not gonna be here for it. But like he kept joking around and I felt like not being very empathetic or understanding of that. And he even had this one thought once about saying like maybe making her life worse just to spite her dead dad. And I was like, what? are you saying? Caleb is the oldest brother and he's mute. I felt like finding out why he was was the only thing that really helped me carry on with the story because I wanted to know what caused it. And Caleb does so many messed up things that you guys need to look at trigger warnings for. But when we find out why, I had no words. I was like, how does that make all your actions better? Because guys, Caleb is just not a good person. But because he's mute and because he has this mysterious bad boy whatever, he can get away with anything oh no this bad thing happened to cause you to stop speaking so i'm gonna do unspeakable things i don't understand why that was being romanticized and then also the name credence there's a point at the end of the book where we realize why it's called credence but if i'm being honest it made no sense the context of it and the relevance of the word i felt like it didn't hit at all i felt like the author learned a new word one day and was like well that would make a good name for a book so then the name came before the title and then she tried to like mush them together and it just didn't fit. Overall, I rated this a one star. I would rate it lower if I could. And maybe I could, I don't know, but we'll just rate this a one star because what the heck did I just read? I just want to read this quote that showed up to summarize how she was just getting passed around all these men. They said, we were lost and broken each in our own way and she needed us as much as we needed her. We died for her. So tell me why you all needed her sexually. Like, I, I, that just doesn't compute. Sure, people need each other and whatever, but like, how does that make sense to say like, oh, we needed her sexually? She was 17. We don't even know how old the dad was. It was never confirmed. So 40 something. What 40 something year old needs a 17 year old in that way in order to get through your own issue? That literally made no sense. And it was the stupidest explanation ever. And um, I hated it. I felt like they just kind of took advantage of her kind of grooming going on as well. The only thing that I felt like the author did somewhat well was be able to share how all three of the men were alone in their own way, even though they all live together. So that's one thing. I felt like she tried to have like growth and development in the main character, but I felt like it just didn't make any sense. Like, for example, there was this one scene where a gossip journal comes out saying that Ternan's dad forced her mom to unalive herself with him and like forced it to happen. And she got like super mad. But then like, it was a weird thing where she was like, made a call and be like, I want to teach them a lesson and whatever. And it kind of came out of nothing. Like it was just a big scene that made a big deal about it. And then it just turned into the person who said that got fired and good job you stood up for yourself but like it just seemed like a weird way to do it i don't know anyways one star there are spice in this book so if you don't like it don't read it because that's literally all there is i'm gonna go ahead and do the spoiler section i hope you will stay just because hopefully i didn't convince you to read this book but if it's one of those books where it's like oh this sounds so bad i must read it i completely understand but i don't feel like it's worth reading so i hope you'll stay to the spoilers if you're leaving thank you so much for staying tuned and i hope to see you in next week's video but if you're here to stay, let's get into the spoilers. She ends up picking Caleb, the mute guy, which literally makes no sense because the first time they meet, he- Oh, trigger warning, trigger warning, and all that. There's like some assault that goes on in this, which we're gonna romanticize, so don't worry. But the first time, he 
sees her, he doesn't know who she is, and he starts like putting himself on her. And she keeps saying stop, but he keeps going. And in her mind, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, stop. But then I guess she likes it, but still it's weird that like he just keeps going when she says stop. And then also he does it multiple times and he throws food at her when he's throwing a fit. He spits on her when he's throwing a fit. And there's this one scene too where she hurts her arm and he's like stitching her up and she's in so much pain. He just slaps her across the face. Doesn't give her a warning or anything. And is, I don't, what? And it's supposed to be like, oh, he was trying to take my pain away and distract me from the pain by slapping you across the face. Really? How sweet. Thank you. That literally made no sense to me. He's mute because when he was four years old, his mom left him in a car for like four days or something and he starved and he was hungry and trauma, trauma, whatever. That doesn't make an excuse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that happened to you when you're four years old, but you can't just go around and assault people because of it. And he sucks at communication. Yes, he's mute, but also there are so many situations where he could have just shaked his head, like yes or no, wrote things down, but he just didn't want to do any of that. He had a lot of jealousy, but it didn't make any sense because because the first time him and Tiernan ever did anything spicy, it was with his brother, which I don't want to talk about, I don't want to talk about it, but it just didn't make any sense. Like, where did this jealousy come from? In the beginning, she's all for Jake, like the uncle. She wanted him. And then all of a sudden, Caleb comes around and it's like, oh, he's the one I meant to be with. I always knew it was you. Ever since the first time I saw you when he was assaulting you, you knew he was the one? I just, I can't. Literally make it make sense. There was no like thing that showed that there would be any love. They couldn't even communicate. They literally never communicated and it's just like, I love you. How? He doesn't speak. He doesn't write anything. He doesn't show anything. And then anytime they're doing spicy stuff, it's like, this is how we communicate. Like, <sighs> what? How? Like, you can read his mind. That's how you love him. Honestly, I just feel like she felt sorry for him and she liked the mysterious bad boy. She also, when she was with Jake, the uncle, she was being weird because he had an ex-lover that her parents sabotaged him being with who eventually died and she was like telling him to romanticize and fantasize that that's her like pretend i'm her when they're doing stuff and i'm like you are literally psycho there was also like this climax which was so stupid sometime in the book their barn or something catches on fire and they never know why it was caused and it was because this guy from town who really likes her and wants her and whatever tries to burn it to the ground he's like into racing or something like that and tiernan is rich so he like corners her in her home and says you'll sponsor me and he starts threatening her and be like give me money or whatever but then also says that he's gonna like take advantage of her and wants her in a spicy way and she like ends up throwing bows and arrows at him like Katniss freaking Everdeen I was like what was that this was just so I don't even know what I read guys I really don't I felt like the only person that I could kind of justify her being with is Noah he is probably the most tame out of all of them he's not 30 years older than her and he's not and assault her so I hate how they try to make it seem like it was always Caleb and he was the one for her and the uncle was like oh we would have backed off like he did some sign language saying that she's mine or something and I was like what it's in the future they have a child now and she was like reminiscing about what happened when they first met and she was like oh I told you to stop and he said I'm sorry I couldn't hear you over the sound of all your panting like what what and it was weird because it literally made it seem like everyone was falling in love with her. And we get everyone's point of view. Even the uncle, he was like saying, oh, pulling my body away from you is the worst pain I've ever experienced. And I'm like, huh? I'm assuming your parents are dead. The love of your life in the past is dead. And pulling your body away from a 17 year old was the worst pain you've ever been in? Huh? Police? But okay, I guess because all the spice happened once she turned 18 on her birthday, everything's all good. Fine and dandy. So, yay. <sighs> But yeah, I think that's all. This has been a very painful reading vlog, but I'm so glad you made it this far. Not gonna lie, it's kind of fun to really share my thoughts. I took actual notes while reading this. Usually I don't because I just wait to the end, but I realize it's kind of hard to remember everything when I wait to the end to remember everything that happened. So I took some notes during it and yeah, it really helps put into perspective how crazy this story was. Do not read it, but I'm glad that you waited and watched to the end of this video. So thank you so much. Hopefully I'll see you in the next reading vlog hopefully it is a more enjoyable book but yeah thank you so much for being here and i'll see you next week bye